So I had an English class today at college, and we were talking a little bit about pronouns. And you know what's a pronoun? She. A. That was funny. And a true story. Hi guys, welcome to Cube Rhythms Blue here. Today we have an unboxing and review of the Ruishi 6x6. Also, before we get into this, have you guys watched the 2x2 through 5x5? If you have, I so greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. So the Ruishi 6x6 is $16, and that's pretty neat, pamphlet. And this one actually comes in plastic wrap. The 2x2 through 5x5 actually didn't come in plastic wrap, and so that's nice to see that they are taking care of their puzzles before they get delivered to me. Thanks, YJ. If you're a person out there whose job is to plastic wrap cubes, I applaud you. Nice. All right, so we got the Ruishi 6x6 out, and from my personal experience, 6x6s are usually not very good. And so far, this whole Rui series has not really been extraordinary, at least for first impression-wise, so I'm curious to see how this one does. Same sticker shades as normal. Let's do some turns. Okay, so imagine you're lost at sea, and there's a really fat person on your raft who is just obese. Just, just the very most heaviest person that could be on the raft with you. But the raft isn't sinking because that person is also beautiful in their own way. And they're not going to kill you. You are both going to survive. I'm just gonna start this analogy over. Okay, so imagine you have a six by six, and when you try to turn it, there's a lot of resistance. That's how, that's what I'm experiencing first impression wise. This cube is not very good. I don't think I'm going to use it very much. There's some clickiness happening in the middle layers. Oh my goodness, the maximum recording time has been reached. Whoops. Well. It looks like we're gonna have to start all the way over. Just kidding. There's some clickiness happening in the middle layer. It's going like snap, snap, snap. And it's it's not good. Getting a little bit of that in the second layers. Do you hear that? Bum, bum, bum. I wonder if that's gonna go away with breaking in or if it's just gonna stay. Outer layers, we aren't feeling really much of that, except for just then. Yeah, definitely some catching happening all around. I'm kind of bummed so far because I was really hoping that these were going to be like good speed cubes for cheap because YJ usually does make pretty good speed cubes for cheap. But I'm just not really feeling this set. The Rui cubes are just the, 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 I'm trying to think of something that rhymes with Rui that is also not good. I'm thinking the stewy cubes, like stupid cubes, but I'm not really feeling that. I have no idea. At least the sticker shades are nice, except they're not stickers, dummy. They're stickerless ness. Also, really quick question for you guys. Would you call these tiles or... I know you wouldn't call them stickers, but what do you call it? I've been cubing for like almost five years and I don't really know what to call these. I mean, you could call them cubies, but that sounds like you're a baby. Corner cutting. Probably not gonna be that good. Okay, outer layer is okay. Inner layer is probably gonna lock up. Oh, there's nothing, it's not even locking up. There's just no flexibility. I mean, it's not super tight. Ouch, yeah, that doesn't feel very healthy. All right, we're gonna do some solves on this and we're gonna see how it improves.
All right, I've done some solves on the six by six. And if you guys are watching these videos in order, you'll know that I gave the five by five a pretty bad review and the six by six is a hundred bazillion times worse. Generally, six by sixes aren't as good as the other puzzles. In just about every two by two through seven by seven collection I've ever tried, the six by six is the worst. I like solving six by six. I think it is a good amount of time to be working on a solve and that's great. I'm so sad that 6x6s generally aren't good, but this one just takes the cake because it's really bad. It is crunchy, it is heavy, it is sluggish, it has bad corner cutting, and that's actually doing all right, but like, wah, wah. And unlike the 5x5 five five where like if I decided to do slow turning, it, it is okay, it's usable slowly, this one just isn't really that pleasant to turn slow. It kind of stinks. It's like I can feel a subtle grinding when I'm turning it. And like that just happened for like no reason. This is genuinely as fast as I can do this. And I can do it fast on other 6x6s. I uh, don't have any 6x6s in my immediate reach, but I'll just show you on the 7x7. Seven seven. Okay, well maybe I'm not that good. I don't really like the 6x6. Six six. It just doesn't turn very well. And there's really nothing redeeming about it. Like there's no reason why, there's no offset. It's like it's bad and there's nothing good at all. And that's disappointing, but yeah whatever i would probably look elsewhere if you're looking for a six by six because you'll just end up crying a lot if you get this one and feeling very sad and disappointed but if you do pick it up speed cube shop red versus blue thank you that's all for the video thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one for the seven by seven and then we can be done with the Rui series dang it finally okay bye